Hey everybody, welcome back to Seniors Food and Life. I'm Tom. Marie's out on the lower 40 planting some of her little seedlings and moving aloe. I mean, we have aloe plants out there that just exploded. I mean, they're, I mean, they're bulging the pots out. We have little uh, uh, pots that we have on the ground. Anyway, she's out there changing that out. So uh, let's go out and see what she's up to. I hear a noise outside. Somebody's out by the lower 40. Alexa, stop. Copyrights. They don't they don't know anything about copyrights. Let's see what's going on. Have Kane will travel. Uh-oh. What are you doing? Allo, everybody. Allo? What do you uh, mean allo? Allo acres here. Look at the size of these babies. Oh. And it's moly. got a flower on it. So I have to separate them, because look what they're doing to my boxes. They're alive. You think it's fun, huh? Oh, you got a ton of them. I, and babies, all babies. I don't know what to do with them. So here's what happens, OK? I tried to make this my cooking area out here. There is my uh, master built electric smoker. Uh, I got another table right there for my flat top that I got from Monument Grills, okay? But, uh, I mean, egg cartons. She put seeds and dirt in that to get them going. And also over here. Them boxes were just about breaking out. Yeah. Look at the size of them. Even the babies. No. Ah, killed it. But you use this. Don't ever throw them out. You can use them for your skin. You can eat them, and you can make um, fertilizer. You can eat aloe? Yes, it's delicious. It tastes like lemon. Hmm. Now, what's in these? This is going. I have no idea. I put pine cones around here three years ago, and these things keep coming up, and I keep pulling them out, and they keep coming back. Well, we'll have so to see what that stuff is. I will let it grow. It comes like a grassy thing, so I don't know. So we'll put an aloe what's in there. What's in these things here? Nothing yet. Okay. Aloes. <laughs> and what's going to go in here? That's um, some peppers, but I don't know if they're going to work or not. It's my experimental okay. thing. And, and this and over this over here is what Miss J gave us, right? Is uh, No, no, no. That's mine. This is Miss J's. That's Miss J's, yeah. That is a sweet potato, right? Yeah. Okay. Sweet potato. And then you use these for uh, experiment, They're but just to grow tomatoes. things in there. Okay, so like almost like a little mini hot house type mm -hmm. of thing. Cool. Okay, and then let me move slowly here. What is that? Onions. When you buy onions, keep the bottom with the root and just put them in, and uh, they grow. Okay. Yeah, this is Mr. Pepper Plant that we've had for four years. Yeah. Take it in, bring it out. As you can see, it's got a little pepper right there. Got another little one right there. So we're going to keep it. I mean, all right. So I'm just making a mess. So look at this. Is This is what's growing. Okay. And it's tearing up the boxes. So she's going to separate them. And uh, we do have permission to put stuff around the outside of the balcony. So we'll be in good shape. <laughs> we do. Okay. Okay, I gotta get busy, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Okay, we're getting back inside here. Uh, we'll let that happy uh, Atranian do her thing. Uh, and we'll check back with you in a little bit. Okay, so you see we got some more onions and stuff growing over here. And then she's got something going on over here. Okay. Now, as you can see, the landscapers came through and they trimmed up some of the bushes. So I got stuff all over the sidewalk. Another pepper plant. Now, this is going on its second year. Okay. Um, they, they they actually stay pretty good out out here in the desert. Let me come back over here. There's a tomato plant that went through the winter. 
if we're decent and we got some other peppers that are a little bit uh, straggly here right. so yeah I mean uh, very hard to grow basil out here because of the heat and you can see she's got some other aloe plant um, aloe she went from one aloe plant to many she's the aloe queen now i'm going to show you something here that you very rarely see out here in the desert and that's moss okay that's how much rain we've had you can see over here by the tree it's got some moss say hello to everybody hello everybody hello everybody hello <laughs> okay so so this is the way we keep busy okay I wish you could hear her outside <laughs> she does not throw nothing away I mean nothing okay so she's trying right now let me see if I can get her spin it around here so you can see She is out there. She is trying her best not to throw not one aloe plant. I don't know what we're going to be using aloe for, but I tell you what, we got tons of it. So she right now she <laughs> she's talking to herself. I'm not getting there. I'm not throwing this away. I don't know. So every little nook and cranny around the outside is going to be uh, an aloe plant. Unbelievable. Well, I'm the same way. I I, <laughs> I don't throw too much stuff away either. But the same token, though, I guess that, you know, I, the way we were brought up, uh, you know, everything was so expensive. Uh, my mom would always say, you know, and save this and I, hang on to that. But you know, whatever. Okay. So, but this is this is our one of our daily routines that we do. Um, probably not going to cook anything today. We're probably just going to. Uh, something fast so it's not even worth worthwhile for us to even film it uh to show you this, man we'll probably do a salad or something today so all right with that said uh well aloe is taking over but it grows out here good and i gotta tell you if you do get burned okay it does help so we got another one over here so Weather's starting to change. It's supposed to turn out to be uh, getting into the 70s, right? Yeah, it's a little cool yeah. right now. How you feeling? A little stiff, right? I am stiff. Old bones. <laughs> but you know what? It keeps keeps you moving. I mean, you just can't sit. My pepper plant. We moved that pepper plant from over there before. I was showing everybody before, Marine, when you were working, mm -hmm. uh, about moss. I mean, you don't see moss out here. And uh, yeah. it's because we had so much rain. Yep. So the landscapers just came through. They trimmed up all the bushes. And I got to tell you, where we live, they keep this place pretty well maintained. So here we go. Now, I'm not going to walk up this incline because I'll wind up back no. in a cast again. So there it is. Nice cleaned out. Okay. This is our lower 40. And as you can see, the pepper plant right there. And if you look real close, you can see the one up on top there. And here. Okay. And yeah, I showed them before. Now, Marie, what's in them, them front pots right there? Uh, what did I put in here? <laughs> tomatoes, right? Uh, plum tomatoes. Plum tomato seeds. We don't use so many other any other kind of tomatoes, so onions. Onions, and this is all straight from. This is all straight from the. Uh, tomatoes that we use mm -hmm. so uh, I just want to walk down here a little bit yeah. all right this is this is where we're at here okay okay all right everybody we'll talk to you <laughs> fertilizer
Just cut up the aloe. You had me nervous there for a minute about how you were going to make fertilizer. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. And let it soak for like a, right. a day or so. Right. You get the drift. I'm going to shut it off because uh -huh. of uh, we got the landscapers coming through. Okay, that's it. So here's a little perspective. 17 acres grew everything to a patio. <laughs> but a big change. As you get older, you got to know, like the, like the song says, you're going to know when to fold them and know when to hold them. Uh, we had to get rid of it. Couldn't keep up with the work. And uh, here we are now. So it's a new era. Well, there you have it. I mean, Marie's out there, did all the work. I did the filming. I'm tired from doing the filming. <laughs> and, um, I mean, she acted like she did, you know, and 10 hours of work. <laughs> so here's the deal. Um, as you see, this is how we keep ourselves busy. And, and the bottom line is you got to do that. You got to keep moving. Whether you do exercise, whether you go to a gym or whatever, but you got to keep moving. Um, that, that, that little piece that I, I showed you, that little photo, that was our place in North Carolina. Uh, she planted everything. Okay, well, I tried peanuts. It grew. Everything was great. Mm -hmm. So moving from that to where we are now, but the age is the is the thing, okay? I mean, you just can't do the old gray mare ain't what she used to be. That's for sure. So next week, Marie's going to do some food. Marie, what are you going to be cooking next week and make some homemade managat? Or are you going to? I might try that. Some meatloaf. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, how about a nice old-fashioned meatloaf gravy? Yeah. Some mashed potatoes. You do the gravy. I'll do the meatloaf. Okay. And how about maybe an apple pie maybe or, or something? Uh, we'll see. I see right away. You got to you know, <laughs> burst my bubble. Anyway, everybody, thank you for watching. Um, please hit that like and subscribe. And we're going to do some more of this stuff here. Uh, next week, we're probably going to cook at home. But then the following week, I'm getting around a little bit better. The following week, we're going to go out and show you a couple different places. What we do, where we go, uh, what we used to go anyway. Uh, but I can get around better now with a cane. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. Bye. See you next week. Thank you.